Hi everyone, and welcome to Paper Pumpkin Week here on Creative Chelsea. Over the last week or so, I have shared some great card ideas you can make with one set of supplies from the May 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit called The Best There Is. Today, I'm sharing with you my fifth and last alternative card ideas. The project from this kit creates a total of nine greeting cards, three in three different designs. If you would like to watch me unbox this kit and create these cards or see any of my other alternative projects, you can click on the playlist in the top right corner. Today I'll be using up the last pieces that I have left over from the kit to create these two beautiful and simple cards. I hope you stick around for some fun tips and techniques. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Let's get started. So to make these cards, we are going to kind of gather up all of the scraps. So we have this um, Misty Moonlight wood grain uh, scrap. We have our envelope. This is the large um, front piece. We have the um, dark wood grain piece. And then we also have this crumb cake piece here. So let's go ahead and start with our envelope. That's the one that needs the most cutting. We're just going to cut a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece. So it's pretty easy to do that. Go ahead and just trim from that bottom to get a nice card front. So four and five and a quarter. And then these other pieces, they're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to remove, there's a little score line right here, and I'm going to remove that. So I'm going to cut at about a half inch. We'll remove the score line. So that's good. So that's that score line. You can see it a little bit better. I don't want that on my card. So I've got a half inch by five and a half, and then whatever size this is, this is two and a quarter. And it also has a score line, but I'm going to cover that up so it's that's not a big deal. And it's also five and a half inches. And then let's go ahead and while we have this, go ahead and cut another hexagon from that crumb cake card base. And then we're also going to need a couple other little pieces from the kit. We've got kind of this pocket shape. We have the last of the pool party fern uh, piece. And then we also have this darker... Um, piece that was left over. We're going to be cutting out thanks from that and then the one that we just cut. So let's begin with our thanks card with the trees in the background. That's a really fun one. So I'm going to use my Misty Moonlight large ink pad, but you also can use do the exact same technique, of course, with your stamp and spot that you got in the kit. Now when I stamp these trees, I want to make sure that it's clean and I have a technique that I do when I do kind of these background stamping so let me share that with you. So I'm going to first stamp a diagonal. So I stamp, I'm going to start here in the bottom left and then I'm just going to keep stamping at a diagonal all the way across my card. I'm kind of looking for maybe the bottom of the trees to sit at about half of the um, middle of the tree. So here is my first stamp and then the middle of that tree is where I started my next stamp, middle of that tree, next stamp, middle of that tree, next stamp. And then after that, I kind of just fill in wherever I think there's there needs to be some trees. So it's not always a super even um, design. So right now what I'm doing is taking the tallest tree and putting it in between the bottom of my next stamp. So here's the tallest tree, bottom of that stamp, and stamp it like that. Bottom of that stamp, tallest tree, and stamp. Okay, so that's how I create my random patterns. And I typically always start at that, um, start them like that at an angle. I think it gives me the nicest pattern. And I love all those trees together. I think it looks really great. So we're also going to take that little pocket and we're going to change the color of it. 
And we're going to do a fun technique with this. We're going to swipe it with our ink spot. Now I think ink spots are perfect for this technique because it is a different pad. So these have a foam pad and this is more of like a cotton pad. So you get better texture with this. So I'm just gonna hold my ink spot and swipe evenly across my um, kind of my pocket shape, then rotate and do the same. So just try to keep it an even swipe. And then you're gonna get something like this. Doesn't that have a great texture to it? I really love that look. All right, so in the background here, I'm just cleaning up my glass mat. And so that can go on my card. We've got the wood grain that we're going to cut out our thanks. And this is the die cut from the Thanks and Beyond dies. And you might be able to actually get two out of this, one piece. So let's go ahead and just do it this way in the bottom corner, just like that. So once you've cut that out, go ahead and add some dimensionals, and then you're going to put it on a piece of basic white cardstock that is three fourths of an inch by about three and a quarter. And then if you want, you can flag the ends. It's kind of a tight flag, so it's not a very deep uh, angle. So just keep that in mind. And then we will to put this card together. So those are for the other card. So let's start by adding a little liquid adhesive. And we're going to place that on our little pocket near the top. Just kind of eyeball it to get it right in the center. Then you can go ahead and pop this on. Let's see, any dimensionals? Okay, it looks like I put dimensionals here on the edges, just for fun to kind of have that be a little extra. And then a little liquid glue here in the middle. And we can stick that right here in the top left corner, just like that. And then I, I stamped your amazing and cut it out. And I used two stamps for this. So I used this one. This one says amazing down here at the bottom. And then your, I got from your the best. And then I just cut those out. All right, so once you've done that, you can remove, um, add some dimensionals and then remove the paper backing and just pop that underneath. And it doesn't need to be totally straight. And then you'll take a a piece of linen thread and you can tie a bow and then you'll just add it to underneath the greeting on amazing with just a little glue dot. Oh, where'd the glue dot go? There it is. And you can just slip that underneath just like that. Super cute card. Let's add this to the front of a basic white card base. And this card will be all done. I love how quick and easy cards like this can come together, especially when they are kind of the last little pieces left from the kit. I'm going to open that up and smooth it out, just like that. And then we can move on to card number two. So for card number two, we're going to begin with a card base of crumb cake cardstock. And I'm going to use crumb cake ink and about a third of the way down from the top, I'm going to stamp the tree image a couple times just across the card base. This is just going to give us a little bit of detail. And then you can also take a marker, a crumb cake marker, and add a little splatter if you want to do as well. Just a little bit to add a little more texture to the card base. 
just like that. Then we're going to add some of those leftover pieces that we have. So we have our blue piece. We're going to place that down first, just a little liquid glue. You do want to have a little bit of a border on the left showing. So maybe a fourth of an inch or so, totally up to you. Then you'll add your dark brown card base piece and make sure you go over that score line or at least right up to it. Okay. So just like that, it's coming together nicely. The details that we have for the front include the stamped image from that same tree, but we're gonna stamp it in early espresso onto our little tag hexagon shape that we cut out. So you can just stamp that right in the center. Then we're going to take our fern, trim off the circle, and you're gonna add this to the left side. Just anywhere you want to place it. So it's gonna look like that. And then you can cut out thanks in dark if you want, but I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna cut out thanks in white. So this is the front, this is the back. I'm gonna add a little bit of just liquid glue. If you wanna pop this up with dimensionals, you can. And that just goes right over the bottom of the, tr the tree trunks. You can try to put it in the center if you want. And then all of this will get popped up onto our card with dimensionals. And you could probably add some dimensionals over the letters too if you'd like. And you wanna place it so that it's kind of in line with the trees that you stamped, but kind of in the center of the card as well. And then of course, the last thing we're adding is the linen thread. And just like I said at the beginning, I used linen thread on almost every project because I love just that natural feeling it gives it. You can easily add it to masculine cards or nature cards. It's just like the simplest little embellishment to add to your cards. I think it's perfect. So a little tie right there, a little bow. Take a glue dot and you're gonna place that on the middle of the bow and then carefully remove it. And then you can tuck that underneath your thanks and your little fern, just like that. Okay, and your card is all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me create these last alternative cards using the May 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit. If you would like to subscribe to get your own monthly crafting kit, please do so using the link in the description below. If you would like to see written instructions or close-up images on how I created these cards, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.